a message from God. He wants us to help children become saints. Easy peasy. Let's go. To be in that number. I want 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 to be in that number. So how do I get to be in that number? Follow. 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 Follow in the footsteps of saints. In Sudan, a young Bakita managed to be brave when evil people kidnapped her and sold her as a slave. St. Josephine forgave them for all the bad things they had done, and when she was freed, became a Catholic and then a nun. St. John Paul II from Poland was a poet and a pope. His message was be not afraid and do not give up hope. He traveled to more countries than any pope before. When the children cheered, we love you, he replied, I love you more. Mother Cabrini had a big heart from those from faraway places. She served the immigrant families who were crammed into tight living spaces. She helped them find jobs, get medical care, and gave orphans a place to stay. By doing God's work, she made them feel at home in the USA. St. Louis and Zelly show us not all saints are priests or nuns. Some are even dads or moms who raise their little ones. They taught their daughters prayers and kissed their bruises when they fell and helped their youngest child become a holy saint as well. St. Therese, the little flower, shared her little ways in growing close to Jesus each and every day. Kind words for someone grouchy and a generous helping hand, learning to smile and not complain when things don't go as planned. In Portugal, three children saw the flash of a light. Our blessed mother then appeared dressed in gold and white. She told them, pray the rosary for peace in those who sin. And in the end, I promise my immaculate heart will win. There were two men named Simon and Saul. When they followed Jesus, they were Peter and Paul. Paul was the vessel and Peter was the rock. They gave their lives to shepherd God's flocks. In India, Teresa received a holy call to help the poorest of poor in both ways, great and small. She loved those who were homeless, hungry, orphaned, and ignored. She showed that what we do for them, we do for Christ our Lord. In the life of Padre Pio, miracles abound. He smelled like fragrant flowers and could float above the ground. He shared the wounds of Jesus and heard confessions night and day. He told us never worry, just don't forget to pray. Jesus came to St. Faustina, asking her to share his message of mercy with people everywhere. 
He told her when you're worried and don't know what to do, just lift up your heart in prayer and say, I trust in you. What if we fall? Get tired. Sit. Sad. Anxious. Confused. Frustrated. Nervous. Worried. Scared. Rest out. Discouraged. God will hold you in the palm of his hand. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, Lord, I want to be in the number when the saints go marching in. Good job.